as we bring in Chief Meteorologist Marianos. We've got uh, some low snow on the way, but tomorrow is kind of kind of windy is what we're gearing up for. Yeah, tomorrow is a warm day, but it's windy. That's the cold air that's going to be coming in. So between tomorrow and to Wednesday, we'll see some big differences. But the precipitation won't be a lot until Thursday, and that's going to start off cold. There are winter storm warnings in place for all locations that are above 1,000 feet because of significant snow. We're looking at some high impacts for travel over the next few days, but uh, as, uh, as we just mentioned, low snow levels too. So we have to look out for that. I think by early Thursday morning, that will be the best opportunity, especially from about 4 a.m. to 8 a.m., to see some snowflakes mixing in down to the valley floor, even in Sacramento. However, don't think that we're going to be waking up Thursday morning to see snow on the ground in Sacramento. That's not going to happen. But as you get above 500 feet, you can see some minor snowfall there. And there's going to be significant snow coming our way above 1,000 feet all the way up to the higher elevations. That's where there are winter storm mornings in place, several feet of snow all the way between now through the week. So here's what's going on all the way through Thursday. We're skipping ahead by a couple of days. This is Thursday morning. This is 8 o'clock. Snow all the way down toward Auburn, Roseville, at that rain snow mix and overall light precipitation. But if you get into some heavier precipitation, you can take the snow and mix it down with rain all the way down to the lowest elevations through the day, early morning hours Thursday. Then we'll start seeing more precipitation picking up. And then by Friday morning, we could see that low snow levels again. So two opportunities for that by the time we are all said and done. But overall, I think by the time uh, the storm finishes up, we're looking at about a quarter of an inch to an inch of rainfall and the heaviest snow for the highest elevations. Now what uh, considered measurable snow? And as you go down to the lowest elevations, we always talk about not measurable snow. Well, that is generally a tenth of an inch or above is what you need to be considered measurable snow. Anything below that is a trace. And for those who have been living in Sacramento for quite a while, you might recall back 2009, there was a trace. That was the last time we had that. But the last measurable snow in the city was back in 1976. I don't think we'll do that with this storm either. But could see the low snow levels quite down to just at or below 500 feet. Precipitation amounts, that's just liquid equivalent, but when you look at the snowfall totals through the rest of this week, here it is. And you can see the highest amounts over the typical spots and the highest elevations, but if you take a closer look down, as you go below 500 feet, we talked about the rain-snow mix, about 1,000 feet, I'm talking 1 to 3 inches of snow, Auburn at about 2 to 4 inches, and then the amounts will increase quickly as you go up in elevation. So as you go from 1,000 to 2,000 feet out toward Colfax, significant snow, 10 to 20 inches. That's why the winter storm warning is in place. Blue Canyon, you're talking 30 to 40 inches, along with some gusty winds as all that winter weather begins to take shape. And then as you work your way down to the south from Echo Pass all the way down to Sonora Pass, two to three feet with some localized spots nearing four feet of snow, especially south of Highway 50. So very impactful winter event here in the days ahead. It's been warm today. Those temperatures on their way down tonight. Clouds will be on the increase. It won't be as cold tonight. Lower 40s for the valley. And then tomorrow will be windy as that cold air comes in. But before all that, we're still peaking into the lower 60s. All right, here's your forecast for the next seven days. Of course, Thursday, Friday, our first load action days. That's when we have the most impactful weather before the week ahead, followed by another storm next Monday. Curtis? All right, thank you.